The ice cream is so creamy. It does taste a lot like bologna. Austria loves beer. Hello everybody and welcome to Vienna, Austria. So today we are going to show you some of the must-try dishes of this city. I'm so hungry! Let's go! So one of the things you absolutely have to try if you come to Vienna is a Wurst or sausage. So there's all sorts of different types, but what we have here is called a Kesekreine. This sausage has about 15 to 20% cheese. It's all cut up into little pieces and then put inside, and it's a smoked sausage. These are very, very popular. It smells meaty and delicious. We have it served with a piece of bread and, of course, mustard ketchup on the side, but you can also get it served inside a bun. Mmm. These sausages are freaking amazing. There's such a nice little snap to the skin. It's so juicy. You can taste the cheese. There's a little bit of creaminess to it. And of course, it just has a very meaty, porky flavor. It's really, really delicious. But you can't go wrong with any type of sausage in Vienna. Mm. We're at Bitzinger Wurstestand right now, which is, I think, quite a famous spot in Vienna. It's right at the opera. It has this rabbit on top. Don't come to Vienna without eating a sausage. Our next stop is a liver case peppy. Liver cheese is the translation. Let's see what we get. So we got our liver case, which although the translation means liver cheese, it's neither liver and it's not cheese either. This store is very popular. There's multiple branches. There's different kinds you can get. We got spinach and garlic, and then just the classic. We got some mustard on the side. Looks very delicious. Mm. Yeah, it's basically like this low pork. They have horse as well, which we had last time. But yeah, it's very delicious. It's kind of like a big piece of bologna or something. Mm. Like a fat, big chunk of bologna instead of just having a slice. Let's try the garlic one. Mm. Tastes very garlicky. And I would say that one's better. It has more flavor. It's a bit more chewy and not as soft. And if you love garlic and spinach, you should try that one. My turn. Mm. Yeah, it's really delicious. As I said, last time we had it in Vienna, it was horse meat, but this is pork. And yeah, a lot of them are made with pork. It's basically just like she said, it's ground up pork made into a loaf of meat. And it does taste a lot like bologna. Like if you're from North America, that's what it tastes like. It's really good. Mm. And another thing you have to consume when you come to Vienna is a cold beer because Austria loves beer. Me too. Me three. So what we have now is pancake soup, which is really popular in Bavaria and in Austria. It's one of our favorite things to get. It has this beef consomme kind of based broth and these little sliced ribbons of pancake, but it's not the pancake maybe North Americans know, it's like a German pancake, which is more like a thin crepe style. Mm. So good. As I said, this is one of our favorite things to get. It's called a Frittatensuppe in, in German. It's a very salty beef kind of broth. The pancakes are really soft and it's topped usually with green onion or chives. So it's a really nice little starter when you're here in Austria. Another must-try dish while in Vienna is Käsespätzle. Chewy egg noodles topped with Emmentaler cheese and crispy fried onions. Austria's answer to mac and cheese. Delicious! One of the most well-known dishes out of Central Europe, Germany, Austria is Knudel. So right now we are noodle manufacturer and we are about to get a couple different savory options and later on some sweet ones. So noodle are basically dumplings. They can be either made of bread or potato and these ones are stuffed. We're gonna have a couple different options and we're super excited to try them out. Mm. 
So our knudels have finally arrived. The first one we have here is the Kremlknudel, which has speck inside. And we also have it served with sauerkraut. So it looks really good. It's so big. Speck is pork. It's like bacon, basically. Oh, it's really soft. Let's get it all in one bite. Mm. That is absolutely amazing. No, no joke. We've definitely had knudel before. Typically when we have it in Germany, or in Czech Republic, places like that, it's not stuffed. And this one is stuffed, it seems like, with like caramelized onions, with pork. The noodle's nice and soft, and it's got these crispy fried onions on top as well. And a little bit of green onion too. And of course, the sauerkraut has a little bit of sourness. It's the perfect combination. The fatty, the sour, it's so, so good. So now we have two special ones here, which is cheap cheese and spinach and chili. It has like jalapenos on top. I'm excited about these. They're very unique and they have a lot of other flavors. I wish we could have tried all of them. Let's try. I'm gonna do the spinach and cheap cheese one. And these are covered in some sort of bread coating. I have no idea to be quite honest. Very yummy, very spinachy cheese. Kind of tastes like a Greek noodle because it has a spinach and maybe feta cheese or some type of cheese like that. Well, cheap cheese. This is very awesome. I grew up with knudel, not that much because in the north you don't eat them that much where I'm from in Berlin. But I've never had them filled like this and it's so much better. It's so good. So I'm going to try the final savory option, which is the chili version. So it looks like it has jalapenos on top and some sort of spicy sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, it's chili. Yeah, a little bit. It will be for you. I'm gonna have it with the jalapeno. Mm. It's totally like a nacho cheese stuffed noodle. So both of these ones that we got were actually vegetarian. And they also have vegan ones on the menu. So there's options for everybody. I would still say the OG, the original is the best though. We got dessert and they even have sweet noodle. And apparently, they also made our potato, which is very strange to have crazy flavors like Raffaello, coconut, pistachio, Oreo, nougat, Nutella, apple strudel. They have all sorts of flavors, so it was really hard to choose. We got a pistachio one, of course, because I like nuts. And we got an Oreo one for Brandon, because he's North American. I want to try the pistachio one. It looks delicious. It has a bit of pistachio on top, and it's filled the pistachio nuts, and I can see the nuts. It smells delicious. So good. And you don't really taste potato, because I was worried about that. Potato and in the dessert is a bit strange, but this is good. I will try the Oreo one as well. This one has a bit of chocolate on top, I think, and some Oreo filling inside. This has a bit of cream cheese inside, I read. It's not as sweet as the pistachio one. I would say the pistachio one is better, but it's still delicious. And it reminds me of like a, an Oreo cake or something. I don't know, it's, it's a bit different. They're both delicious. Austria and Vienna is famous for cakes and coffee. So if you come here, you definitely have to have cake and coffee. Obviously, Austria is famous for apple strudel and Zachertorte, but there's so many different cakes and pastries that you can try. Right now, we're at a place called Coffee House. There's other really famous ones like Coffee Central, where we've been in the past, and we also have another video where we went to the Vollpension where grandmas make your coffee and cake, so you should definitely check that out. Right now, we got a Nusstorte, which is a nut cake. Let's try it, ooh, it's quite hard. It's very nutty, it's not very really sweet. The cream is quite buttery, I think it has um, buttercream in it. There's some almonds on top, it tastes very nutty, you can taste the little bits of nuts, it's very good. I just got um, a little bit of the top and it's very sweet. So that's like the, the, the part that makes the cake sweet. It's very delicious. So since Ani doesn't drink coffee, I am going to try this coffee here. So this is called a 
Belangerte? Belangerte. Belangerte. <laughs> so this means long coffee. So I'm not sure why it has that name. Maybe it's like a pulled coffee, like if pulled tea and stuff like that in places like Malaysia. I don't know what yeah, it, I don't know. I'm sure it doesn't mean that, but I don't know where we got its name. We actually couldn't really like find stretch, out. Like stretch stretch coffee. Stretch or in longer. Yeah, whatever that means. But of course, Vienna is very popular. Coffee and cake, so let's see. It just looks like a typical black coffee. Yeah, I'm a massive coffee fan. It's just a rich, dark coffee, bitter. I didn't add any milk or sugar. It's really, really tasty. If you come to Vienna, you absolutely have to come for a cake and coffee, but you also need to try freshly baked bread and sandwiches. So right now we're at Struck, which has been around for 50 years. You can find them all over the city. There's also Ankar and Backwerk and all these other brand name kind of baked places that you find everywhere. Right now we're in the train station. You can always find a bakery in a train station. So what I have here is a long cheese bread. It's cheese and speck, which is kind of bacon. fluffy, cheesy. It's got like this burnt cheese on top. It's salty from the bacon. It's really delicious. If you come to Vienna, you obviously have to eat a schnitzel, which is basically a piece of meat that's battered and fried. In Vienna, the Wiener schnitzel is very famous, which is made out of veal. We already had one at a different restaurant. We specifically had the Zur schnitzel, which is a salted meat version. There's so many different versions. If you want to check out the first video we made, we actually ate a bunch of different schnitzels. It was a schnitzel mountain. But today we are a schnitzel fan and we have schnitzel sandwich. So this one is made with chicken instead of veal or pork, which is what we've had before in previous videos. This thing is absolutely stacked. It has like a Kaiser roll. It's a little bit hard. It's got like, I don't know, two or three layers of schnitzel. It also has lettuce, tomato, I think, what, onion as well maybe? And ketchup and mayonnaise. So let's give it a go. <laughs> it's so big. Mm. So the addition of the bun, the lettuce, the ketchup, all that together, 100% makes it more taste like a fast food fried chicken burger. I think it's a little bit different than the experience you would get if you actually had a big massive schnitzel where you put on the lemon and everything. But of course you still get that same kind of experience but this is definitely on a budget. These type of joints, schnitzel joints, are quite popular in Vienna and Austria. You see them everywhere where you can get schnitzel burgers, basically, or schnitzel sandwiches. They also have a chicken liver sandwich and other variations, cheese, which we have here as well. But one thing that is quite popular as well for vegetarians is fried mushrooms or baked mushrooms, etc. They're fried, right? They look deep fried. Yeah, I think it's just the button, which just means baked. I'm excited for this. It comes with tartar sauce. And you also get this in traditional Austrian restaurants. So if you're vegetarian, this is your option. Mm. Sauce is delicious. And these mushrooms are so juicy. I mean, obviously they taste like fried mushrooms, but they're so big, meaty, and juicy. It's yummy. If you love mushrooms, you need to eat this. Here we have some fried Emmental cheese in a sandwich. Mm. This is so yummy. If you know me, Emmental cheese is one of my favorite cheeses. It took me a while to get to the cheese flavor, but it's so strong. It's delicious. Fried cheese is something quite common in the Czech Republic, Germany even, Hungary and Austria. You can see it also on every menu in an Austrian restaurant. So. This is yummy. If you love cheese, have a cheese sandwich. Just be naughty. You <laughs> slurp it up. <laughs> now we're at Tishy for some ice marine knödel. Let's have some ice cream. We made it inside. It's super popular, it's super packed inside. 
We found this place because our Airbnb is in this area and we saw that there's a line out here all across the street basically every day. And basically this place is quite famous in Vienna. We even saw an advert on the bus and in the subway station. This play started in 1953, I think, with a little booth and five flavors where a husband and wife went to garden colonies where they sold their ice cream with a little cart. And then in 1955, they opened this place and since then it's been here. They have used the same recipes the whole time and the ice cream apparently is super good because it's natural and uh, they use real fruit and not artificial flavors and things like that. So we're super excited. So our ice cream has arrived. The first thing we have here is basically an iced coffee. So it's like, I guess, vanilla ice cream with coffee in the bottom, Viennese coffee, and then some whipped cream on top. Looking around, this place looks like it's been put in a time capsule. Like it hasn't changed at all in years. It's really retro. Even the waitresses wear these kind of retro outfits and they have those like typical hats that you would see in like a 50s American movie. It's really cool. Let's dig in and see how this is. It's so cold. It looks like it's mixed together. I thought maybe there would be just coffee and then ice cream, but it looks like it's mixed. Mm. Yeah, it's mixed. It tastes a lot like coffee? Or yeah, it's like, it's basically like coffee ice cream. That's what it tastes like. Literally like you blended coffee with ice cream. It's amazing for me, because I absolutely love coffee. I don't know if you'll like it as much, but you do like coffee ice cream, so we'll see how you feel about it, but it's really, really good. This place is famous for their ice knödel. As you know, a knödel is a little dumpling, and they have ice cream versions here. And they're especially famous for this one, which is the ice marine knödel. It is apricot jam inside, vanilla ice cream, and I think nuts on the outside. And they even have a patent on this one. So this is quite famous, I'm excited. Let's see. Mm. The outside is super good. The ice cream is so creamy. I haven't gotten to the jam yet. Mm, it tastes like peanut kind of on the outside. So it's a bit like peanut buttery, which I didn't really expect. Mm. Oh yeah, the jam is super sweet. This is delicious. The ice cream has such a weird texture, like really, really creamy. I didn't know what to expect because I thought vanilla ice cream. How good can it be? But this is, this is delicious. The other one we have is the Nussbusse, which I think is similar to the other one. Also the, an ice cream dumpling with nuts. And nuts, if you know me, is my favorite flavor when it comes to anything. So I had to get this one. Mm. Mm. This is good. It has a little like almond pieces on the outside, some chocolate, and the, not, not ice cream. It's just as creamy as the other one and it tastes so strong. This is delicious. So I'm gonna try this final one. We don't even know what this one is. It's supposed to be raspberry, but it looks like chocolate. So I don't know, let's see. Oh yeah, I see, inside. Mm. Like you said, it's almost like Cool Whip. 100%, if you're from North America, you will know what Cool Whip is. It's basically just whipped cream, but it's like really sugary. You find it in the frozen aisle. That's what this tastes like. Super creamy, really tasty. And what is this on the outside? I think it's like chocolate shavings. It doesn't taste like poppy seed to me. It's really good. I need to get into this jam. Mmm, oh there it is. Yeah, that's a very strong raspberry flavor. Yeah, just tastes like a really, really sweet raspberry jam. Overall, these are all really amazing, so we highly recommend that you come here in Vienna. Delicious. This is the end of the food tour. We're so full. Austrian food is so heavy. So we can't eat anymore, but it was so delicious. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, because we will have a lot more food tour kind of videos coming out in the future. So make sure to follow along. For now, that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.